and welcome to another quick look at the most recent Warlords beta patch notes. All changes this week have been made to each of the classes. As always, you can jump to a specific topic by using the time links in the video description. There are two quick notes for Death Knights. For Frost, Icy Talons will now increase attack speed by 35% rather than 45, and Haste by 5% instead of 0. For Bloodspat, Whip of Runetap will reduce the spell's recharge time by 10 seconds, but reduce damage reduction by 20%. Only one update for Hunters was included this week, lowering the trigger chance of Thrill of the Hunt by 20%. Each monk specialization got at least one update, and for all specs, Power Strikes will now trigger every 15 seconds. Miss Waver's Chibru will now give you one charge of Manatee instead of two, and your Ascension's maximum mana has been raised to 20%. Eminence will heal a nearby target for 50% of all damage caused by the monk, and Blackout Kick's healing will increase by 20% as well. For you Windwalker monks out there, your jab will cost you 45 energy while in stance of the Fierce Tiger. Brewmasters have a small change to Elusive Brew, increasing its dodge chance from 35% to 45. For Priests, Borrow Time will increase the stat gains to haste from all sources by 40% for 6 seconds. Surge of Light for Discipline and Holy has had his Activism chance reduced to 8%. A new passive ability called Enlightenment has been introduced for Discipline Priests. This will increase the critical healing chance of Prayer of Many by 10% while also increasing their stat gains to crit strike from all sources by 5%. Two changes for shamans have been included, first being the removal of Ancestral Vigor. For Restoration, Chain Heal's Heal has been reduced to 10%. The always changing warrior hasn't let us down this week. Blizzard states that the stances abilities are now rotational versus being utility cooldowns and will change depending on your group role. This way you're going to be staying in one stance rather than always swapping around. The following abilities will all require Battle Stance, Colossus Smash, Recklessness, and Sweeping Strike. If you activate Defensive Stance, it will put your Mortal Strike, Bloodthirst, Whirlwind, Slam, Raging Blow, and Wound Strike on 6 second cooldowns. Shield Barrier will be available for all specs and will require Defensive Stance. If your Arms are Fury, you can still use this barrier without a shield. Devastate and Revenge are also now available to all specs, but will require Defensive Stance or Gladiator Stance. Taunt has been removed from requiring Defensive Stance or Gladiator Strike. Fury Fury Strikes, one of the new talents replacing Staggering Shout, will cost 15 Rage. For Fury, Blood Surge now has 2 charges instead of 3, and your Wild Strike has a 0.75 second GCD, costing you 45 Rage. A handful of changes have been made to Druids. Starfall will no longer cancel itself when you mount, but you can't also hit stealth or invisible targets. Wild Mushrooms will also no longer become invisible. The Physical Absorb Shield from Primal Tenacity for Guardian Druids was decreased to 12%, and Soul of the Forest will increase Mangle's Rage Generation by 5. For Restoration, Incarnation Tree of Life will enhance Rejuve instead of Life Moon, increasing its healing and reducing the cost both by 50%. Heart of the Wild will increase healing done by 35%, and your Soul of the Forest will increase the next Wild Girl's healing by 50%. Mage's Presence of Mind talent was removed and given to Arcane Mages specifically. The original talent will be replaced by Evaness. The duration of Alter Time was also reduced to 10 seconds, and a decrease to 15% for Frostfire Bolt's damage from Brain Freeze was updated for Frost Mages. There were two changes for Paladins this week, the first being made to Selfless Healer, and it will increase Flash of Light's healing on other players by 35% per stack. Also, Sword of Light's increase to damage was reduced to 25%. Robes got a bit of love this week with their girl not ticking every 2 seconds instead of 3, and Deadly Throw will no longer have a minimum range. The increase to damage from Assassin's Resolve was lowered to 15%. Sub Rogue's Honor Among Thieves will cause all bleed effects to advance by 2 seconds and trigger an instant tick. In addition, Hemorrhage's damages based on attack power will now tick every 2 seconds with damage being adjusted accordingly. The last update this week was given to Warlocks. Their Seed of Corruption and Soul Burn cannot be applied to the same target. And that's all for this week. Make sure to subscribe for future updates, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!